I did try to keep my promise to you and to my daughters and to myself, most of all, to be accountable for what I did. No excuses. Well, you didn't try. You did. No, ah, you pled guilty, you accepted your sentence, you went to Pentonville. Hell, you even helped out prisoners there like uh, Sean Butler. Right, but I didn't serve out my sentence. I was released. So what? That wasn't you. Other people made those decisions. When are you going to stop carrying around that burden of guilt on your back? I wouldn't call Dante and me an item, but yeah, we do care about each other. Like good friends or something more? OK, we might have come to realize that we may have a future together. Oh, my god. Um, OK, I, I never would have predicted this. And again, I never would have predicted that my fiance was a monster and I'd be separated from my baby girl. OK, that's an interesting comparison. What? When you just lumped my seeing Dante with two negatives, are you trying to warn me off of seeing Dante because he used to be married to one of your best friends? I've heard good things about them. Wait a minute. I, I, I'm just trying to say that life can be unexpected and hard. And it's nice to have someone to be there for you during the rough patches. I would never begrudge you of that someone. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Is Dante the guy that you told me kissed you a while back? You know what? I have to go. I've got to find my mom. Some See you, Maxie. Hey, Dante. Yeah. Um. Sam told me that you two are seeing each other. How's that going? Um, yeah, it's, it's early, early days. And? It hasn't been easy. Yeah, well, making the decision to move on never really is. But anyone who loves you will want you to be happy.